Now those of you who have seen a magic show before have probably seen a magician take a piece of rope, cut it, and put it back together, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You got some frayed ends. There we go. All right, I am going to show you guys step by step how that's done, okay? Peter, I want you to examine every inch of this rope, okay? Make sure there's no zippers, mirrors, trap doors, or elephants inside the rope. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, yeah, I skipped. That's good. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, it's just an ordinary piece of rope? Yes. That's right, or else I wouldn't have let you see it. <laughs> ordinary piece of rope, just like in this guy's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> the secret of this trick is not in the rope. The secret of this trick is actually in a special knot that magicians have kept secret for hundreds of years, called the Mongolian Pop Knot. I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to tie this ancient knot, okay? <laughs> All right, we cut the rope like this in two, giving us two pieces of rope the same size. You take, uh, you take the two ropes, take one rope, twist it around the other rope like this, come around, go through, and pull tight. Now you go back and forth the same way as you went in and out, and then you go in and out at the same time as you go back and forth. Twist, come around, pull tight, and there you have one Mongolian pop knot. I see you're nodding, sir. You're very studious. <laughs> at this point, you reach into your pocket, you get a little bit of pixie dust. You put the pixie dust right on the knot, make sure you use a lot. Now, in a couple of seconds, the pixie dust will melt right through the knot, causing it oh, to pop right off the rope, oh, and you're back to the first rope. Now, some of, you, some of you may have had a hard time seeing how we tie this knot, especially those in the cheaper seats. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you again, but this time, I will cut the rope into three equal pieces, giving you twice as much chance to see how we tie the Mongolian pop knot. Because it takes two Mongolian pop knots to put three pieces of rope back together. Am I going too fast for you? <laughs> Very seldom happens. All right. We now have one, two, three long pieces of rope, about the same size. Now that's very important. If you make a mistake here, the trick won't work. For instance, if you were to cut one of the pieces a little short, <laughs> the trick won't work. If, if you have one that's just about right and one way too long, oh. the trick won't work. <laughs> now, this could happen to just about anybody. <clears throat> but if this happens to you, there is a way out. So while I'm teaching you this trick, I might as well teach you what we magicians call a contingency plan. <laughs> you just fold the ropes over, small rope, medium rope, big rope. And now you have to say the magic words. Sin, salabia. You have to say these with a certain amount of conviction. <laughs> Sim Salabim. Please, sir, this is the hard part of the trick. <laughs> Sim Salabim. And all of a sudden, the ropes will start to stretch and stretch and stretch until they're right back to where they're started. <laughs> all right, back to the Mongolian. Pop Alright, you take take two ropes, take one rope, twist it around the other rope like this, come around, go through, and pull tight. Now, you go back and forth the same way as you went in and out, and you go in and out at the same time as you go back and forth. Twist, come around, pull tight, and there you have one Mongolian pop
You're going to tie the second one the same way as you did the first. You may want to take notes. Take one rope, twist it around the other rope like this, come around, go through, and pull tight. You go back and forth the same way as you went in and out. Then you go in and out at the same time as you go back and forth. Twist, come around, pull tight, and there you have a second Mongolian poplar. So at this point, you reach into your pocket, you get a little bit of... Pixie does. Very good. Very good. That's very studious of you. Are there any questions at this point? Any questions at all? No. Where do you get some pixie dust? Yeah. Where do you get pixie dust? No, that was a question. Um, I, I, I like to grind my own. Yeah. I send the kids out of the house first because, you know, pixies make a heck of a noise in the blender. <laughs> Alright, at this point the pixie dust will melt through the knot, causing the knots to pop right off.